Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. All right. Now this is episode two of the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, which means in the description, I've got a link there for you for episode one, how this shave began if you missed it. All right. We are going to carry on though with my The Haddon brand. This is made by W.R. Humphrey and Company in Sheffield, England. They quit ra making razors, guys, in 1919. So it's at least that old, all right? And now for our soap tonight, we're using Sterling Soap Company Black Ice. Just an excellent, excellent uh, black licorice scent that just has wonderful performance. It's really incredible. And I'm using my uh, Omega 10,098 brush and it's loaded. So let's go ahead and get this lather on, huh? Yeah. All right. So now I'm, I'm glad you guys have been liking the uh, Friday specials. I really appreciate you guys uh, giving me uh, ideas and questions for them. And uh, I just encourage you. Go ahead and continue, right? If you got a question or, or an idea or, or something I can film that, where we can both learn something, that is great, you know? That's the whole thing with this wet shaving. You know, we, we just gotta keep learning how to do, what to do, all of that, it's great, yeah. So I encourage you to keep up the comments and the questions and ideas. You know, I got some really wonderful ideas uh, this last weekend. So keep up the good work, guys. I, I tell you, without you, this channel really would be nothing. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Uh, and I appreciate all of my new subscribers and the subscribers I've had for you know, quite a while. You know, you guys are awesome. Really are. So, you know, thank you. Thank you for everything you do. Okay, there's that. And now, this is the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, episode two, which means this is a pass and a half. Now, I'm going to go across the grain on my neck, against the grain on my cheeks, and then right through here and on my chin, that'll all be against the grain. All right, so let's get going. And as always, stretching is the key here. Get that skin nice and taut, and you'll get a better shave.
Okay, so let's switch hands. Get this other side. Find that ear. That'll be good. Great idea, huh? Yeah, switching up the handle a little bit. There we go. Nice. Get that blade cleaned off. Now switch hands. Go to this other side. Okay, looking good. Let me clean that off a little bit, actually. There we go. Nice. Looking good. There we go. There we go, nice. Pass two complete. Let's see how we did, huh? Yep. Get that cleaned off. I think it is going to be nice. Ooh, caught a couple little spots there, huh? Oh well. It's not a big deal.
that happens to me, you know, from time to time, especially when I let my beard grow a little bit. Um, I'll end up with a bump here or there. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, those cheeks right where they need to be. Wonderful. All right, so now it's on to the half pass. All right, and that is my jawline and my neck. Okay, now what I'm going to do there is I'm actually going to be going across the grain primarily on my jawline and my neck. And this is just the easiest way I've found to do it for me. You know, and I encourage you as always to find what works for you. Okay. Okay. Nice. There we go. And let's get to it, huh? Oh, yeah. Another good shave going, guys. I'm telling you, good shave. All right, we're going to switch hands, do the other side. Again, weight of the blade only. Hit a couple of spots, but no big deal. You know, it happens, and it's not a big thing. Here we go. Another shave in the books, guys. This keeps getting better. I'm telling you. It is so good. Now, let's get that washed off. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. Nice, really good. Okay, so next. Alum everywhere.
There we go. Now I dry that off. Okay. Next, for our aftershave, there's lavender witch hazel. Good stuff, guys. This really is going to go nicely as well. Oh, yeah. And just put that everywhere. Everywhere. It's fine. No big deal. Okay. Next, we're going to hit this up. We're going to take it up a notch. All right. Now, this I'm going to use as kind of a cloney thing, but snake bite. Check that out. Look at that label, guys. Is that cool or what? This is just great stuff. Basically, all I believe it has is alcohol and menthol. That's it. So, I don't think it's going to cover up any scents at all. So, we're going to put a little bit of that on. And get the burn. Not that bad, though. But it does uh, have a little bit. All right. There we go. Now, we're going to top the shave off with... Nivea Pochet Balm. Going to put that moisture back in the skin. And we'll be done. All right. All right, there you go, guys. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click over here. If you haven't seen episode one, how this shave began, click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.